Well, hello everyone. Uh, back with another video about the Yaesu FTM 200 DR. That is the North American version of this radio. It's a mobile 50 watt radio, which I'm using indoor and outdoor. So I'm sitting down in my office slash shack and hoping to share with you features as I learn them. Um, today I'm going to show you some tricks and things I've learned about the microphone. I'm using the default microphone that came with this radio. And it has a bunch of cool features that I think you should know about if you haven't learned them all. Maybe there's something that you can add to your daily operation. Uh, obviously, right up front, it's got the push to talk. It's got a mute button. You can see the microphone holes right there at the top. And this little thing lights up when you push to talk. So you can see that happening. Usually I've got it pretty close to my mouth, so I don't see that all that often. And of course you have the numpad on there that you can use to um, punch in some uh, frequency on VFO mode. Uh, right now I'm in memory mode, which I like to use most of the time because I've already programmed in the repeaters I'm generally going to listen to. So, um, and then looking at these buttons up here allows you just with your hands to move through the frequencies, either up or down. But the less obvious part is if you hold this down, it initiates a scan. And as you can see, it changes your screen. You can tell that you're scanning. But the other thing that's not quite as obvious is the lower screen darkens a little bit and you will not be getting dual receive when you're doing this. Uh, someone may correct me if I'm wrong about that, but I, as far as I can tell, that is the case. So if you're running something else and hoping to hear on that lower channel in scan mode, you're not going to hear it. But notice it's very fast. It's scanning through all my memories. And we had a station just a moment ago, repeater rather, come up and broadcast its identifier. And we pretty much heard the entire thing. So this is going to go through your memories really fast and you're not going to really miss anything. There's another one that just popped up. So there's that. And then I want to show you some of these buttons here on the side and on the lower part here that are not quite as obvious. They just trigger some nice fun functional things. So we're going to stop our scan here, which you can do by hitting the button on the top. And then we'll hit A. So that didn't do quite as much as I told because the radio wasn't quite in the right mode. Um, so hitting A will take you to VHF band frequencies. Of course, if you're in VFO mode, that's just going to drop you down to VHF frequencies. Uh, but I have memories that are both VHF and UHF. So now we're going to hit the B button and it jumps us up to 70 centimeters just like that. I only got a couple of memories here so I could just cycle through them pretty quickly. And then we'll hit C and notice that when I trigger it back and forth, you look at the volume button, it changes the squelch adjust. So you can hit that uh, on the fly there to adjust that. And finally, D here triggers our water rudimentary waterfall display, which I really like. Um, you know, if I happen to be listening in on this frequency, 146.76, I can look down my list to see what else is happening while I'm listening to this conversation much, much nicer than trying to do dual receive in my opinion, because you may be answering something that's happening on the channel. You're not, you don't intend to answer. So this just kind of helps you keep an eye on what's going on. So we're going to turn that off for now and move down to our pound sign. And you can see up in the top left of the screen, it will cycle us through the various bands as I punch that and so yeah, it's just kind of like the band group button that's on the body of the radio. We'll do the basically the same thing. Cycle us through or all. So right now, if you see M dash all, that just means that we could either manually cycle through or scan both VHF, UHF that this radio covers. Um, of course it does do error as well, but I'm not messing around with that. So we're just going to look at that for now. Uh, and then we're down to star button, which cycles you through 
of VFO back to memory mode. And you notice there I was on the national uh, APRS function, so you're hearing a little bit of that noise going on there in the background. All right, now we're down to the bottom buttons. And I've got a couple of these programmed um, to do things that help me day to day. Uh, I hope that you will find this interesting. Uh, first of all, P1 moves you into digital mode, which I'm not doing very much, but I'm just going to mention that that's the case. Um, you know, this radio does group, uh, uh, di uh, digital group uh, function along with wires X. Uh, but I'm just, that's not features I'm really using. I've just left that at the default though. Uh, but something that I do like to do is record because this radio allows you to add a micro SD card, which you can see slotted right there, and you can record. Uh, so something I like to do is when I'm having a conversation with somebody is record it so that I can come back later and um, make note of their call sign accurately because if I didn't quite hear it right, then it's disappointing when you're not able to log that call. So I created a program button to to initiate record function. And there it goes. You can see it does take a second for that to happen. And you'll see that it, since we're hearing something right now, it is actually recording with a little red indicator. But if we go off that one to, to another um, frequency that's not transmitting anything, you'll notice that it goes into pause mode. So it's not just going to record infinitely and um, fill up your card if there's nothing happening. And then I just push the P2 button one more time, and that stops it. I have been playing around with APRS, so I have used my P3 button to allow me to go into the log list, and I can cycle through the various beacons that have come in or messages that have come in, and I can take a look at them. And I'm just going to hit back here and go back. And then number four uh, automatically takes you to the frequency that um, transmits the weather. So you can just pop that button and listen to the pre-programmed weather for today. I'll turn that back off. And finally, I want to show you how you can modify those program buttons easily. So we're going to hit the menu button here. And it is item 27 on the list. It says mic program key. And you hold down this button, of course, to get into that. And then you select the item. So we're just going to go uh, program button two here, just for, just for the sake of the example. Hit the button, and it allows you to scroll through the various options that are available. And of course, my favorite is record and stop. So with that, that'll, that'll be it for now. Hope you got something out of the video that's useful for you. If you did, leave me a like, and we'll talk to you next time.